welcome back to Cotton Creations. So I'm super excited about today's video. Um, it's another hair tutorial, but it's actually going to be featuring a product, a brand new product that hasn't even hit the market yet, but it is coming out very soon. And it's called the ponytail sleeve. And what the ponytail sleeve is, is it's a product, a hair accessory that allows you to construct your very own invisible ponytails in advance so that you can pop them on and take them off whenever you want. Um, so let me show you guys what it looks like. So that's the packaging. What I'm gonna be doing in today's video is I'm gonna show you guys step-by-step step how to construct your own invisible ponytail using the ponytail sleeve and I'm also going to show you how to install it to your hair and how to detach it when you're ready to take it off. So if you're interested stay tuned but make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next awesome video. Let's hop into it. So the ponytail sleeve comes in two colors black and beige and it has a opening at the top it also comes with a drawstring to secure it onto your braided ponytail and then there's a drawstring slot which you have to tuck the drawstring inside the ponytail sleeve and pull it through the drawstring slot and that way you can hide the drawstring um, cords and the drawstring cord lock once it's on your ponytail and I'm excited because it's a product that I designed and I'm showing you guys I have a label inside of it and this is the beige ponytail sleeve and the ponytail sleeve also comes with an opening at the bottom so if you need it to you could pull your hair through it using a crochet needle as well so I'm just going to be using Sensational Hair's French Wave bundle in 1B and it's 22 inches and I'm only using one bundle for this project. So to get started, I'm going to take some cardstock paper and I'm going to roll it into a cone so that that can act as my mannequin head or my base if you will so I can sew the hair onto the ponytail sleeve. So once I have that um, in a cone that will fit inside the sleeve. I'm going to tape it off uh, with some regular tape, any tape will do really. Um, and if you need to, you can cut your cardstock paper down some, um, but in this case I didn't have to. So that's what it should look like and you can test it out by sliding it into your ponytail sleeve and then you want to go ahead and tighten the drawstring so that it fits snug and doesn't slide off while you're constructing your ponytail. So one thing I want you to note is the seam going down the back side. You don't want to sew on the seam. So you just want to avoid sewing on the seam. So to get started, I'm simply going to start at the very bottom of the ponytail sleeve. And I'm just going to um, go ahead and begin threading and sewing the hair onto the sleeve. And what I'm doing is just wrapping the hair and sewing wrapping and sewing and that's going to be the in the process until we get to the drawstring slot um, and what i want to say about that is you want to avoid sewing the hair across the drawstring slot and keeping that opening open so i'll show you later in the video exactly how to do that but um, like I said, you're just going to wrap the hair around the ponytail sleeve and continue to sew it. You can also do this um, by gluing the hair onto the ponytail sleeve. And it's the same way. You just want to um, apply some glue to your wefts. And you want to take a blow dryer and blow dry the glue until it's a little bit tacky. And then just wrap the hair around the ponytail sleeve. As simple as that. And you can have a completed and constructed ponytail within 15 minutes. It's super easy and super quick. One thing I forgot to mention is that when you are constructing your ponytail sleeve, it's not necessary to put the hair super close as you're going around it unless you want an extremely full ponytail sleeve, um, but it's not necessary to 
get it as close as possible you can definitely space it out because um, I've spaced mine out probably about I would say like maybe a half inch to a quarter inch apart as I'm going around um, and as you can see or you'll see later that it's extremely full and you don't see the wefts or anything like that so don't be afraid to do that so now that I have reached the drawstring slot, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tightly secure and knot the weft on one side of the drawstring slot and then I'm going to cut the weft as well as the thread and then I'm going to continue by placing the weft on the other side of the drawstring slot so that I can keep that slot open and be able to hide the drawstring and the drawstring cords once I install the ponytail. If you sew the hair across the opening, there's no way to be able to hide your drawstring and drawstring cords once you apply the ponytail and install it onto your head. So you wanna be sure to keep that open and only sew the hair on the sides of the drawstring slot. So once you get to the top of your ponytail sleeve, you want to avoid sewing the hair onto the drawstring. So I recommend that you open up your drawstring and loosen it all the way once you get to the top um, because you don't want to sew the hair so tight around the drawstring area that you can't get the sleeve onto your ponytail. So you want to loosen that drawstring and you also want to avoid sewing the hair onto the drawstring as well. Now, I highly recommend that you leave a little bit of hair, a uh, wefted hair, so that you can wrap it around your base of the ponytail sleeve once it's on. So I'll explain more about that in just a second. Once you're done constructing your ponytail sleeve, you can go ahead and remove the comb from it. And I, like I said before, like to leave some additional hair weft of hair onto the sleeve and that way I can cover up um, that elastic band area once it's on my ponytail sleeve. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to position the drawstring in the correct manner. So I'm going to push it inside the ponytail sleeve and pull it through the drawstring slot before I install it onto my hair. So now I'm going to show you guys how to install the ponytail sleeve. You want to go ahead and place your hair into a ponytail and braid it. If your hair is not extremely long or you need it to be a bit longer and you have shorter hair, you can always use braiding hair to um, add to your braid and extend the ponytail, the braided ponytail. And then what you want to do, I highly recommend this, it's optional, but I highly recommend it because it makes it easier for the ponytail sleeve to slide on. And that is take a rapid strip and just wrap it around your braid and secure it with a rubber band. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take the ponytail sleeve. As you can see, here's that additional um, hair uh, that we're going to use to wrap around the base. And once again, make sure that drawstring is in the proper place. Put it inside the ponytail sleeve and out through the opening. So then I'm just going to slide it up onto my braided ponytail. I'm going to go ahead and pull the drawstring tightly to secure it and hold it in place. And then after that, I'm going to tuck the drawstring cords into, back inside the drawstring slot underneath. And that way they'll be hidden and you won't be able to see them at all.
So next, I'm gonna take that extra hair and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it around the base of my ponytail just to hide the fabric that we did not sew on where the drawstring is at. And I'm just gonna take a hairpin and I'm going to secure that last piece of weft with a hairpin. So to finish off the look, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some hair from underneath the ponytail and I'm going to smooth it out and I'm going to use some hairspray. I like to use Got To Be, but I recently got Bedhead, which works amazingly. So either one will work and all I do is I just wrap it around the base of the ponytail and I use some hairspray to secure it and I take my blow dryer and just blow dry it so that it helps speed up the drying process and once that's done that's it um it's just that easy just that simple So here's the finished look. If you guys want to know how I laid my edges, my favorite new edge control is the Rob Fuchs uh, Hair Care Collection Edge Control. It smells amazing and it is so good on my hair and it doesn't flake up. So if you're interested in that, make sure you uh, check that out too. I'll drop the link down in my description box. All right, so please let me know what you guys think of the product. Um, let me also know what you think of this tutorial down in the comment section down below. I absolutely love it. Not because I designed it, but because it's so convenient. It is super easy to construct. You can construct your ponytail in under 30 minutes if you're sewing it. If you're gluing it, it's even faster. Um, and honestly, if you're once you get used to doing it and sewing it, you can do it in like 15 minutes of construction. Um, and you can have like this wonderful, fabulous ponytail. It's also reusable. Um, and that's one thing that I'm big on is saving money where you can. Um, let's be real, hair is expensive. And especially if you're getting top quality human hair, virgin human hair, it's very expensive. So to be able to have a way to reuse the hair over and over again is definitely going to help the bank account out and make your pockets feel a whole lot better. So let me know what you guys think of the product. It is launching on February the 13th, 2020. And if you're interested in purchasing it, you want to visit www.ponytailsleeve.com so you can get yours at launch. There will be a limited time offer, so make sure you're ready and um, check out the website right on February 13, 2020. And once again, let me know what you guys think of the product down in the comment section down below. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching.